Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You, and we are gonna use some hearts of palm, and we are going to make a ceviche with no fish. I got this recipe from a Blue Zone cookbook, and I'm not gonna follow it though because I never follow recipes. I just look at them for inspiration. And so let's get going and I'm gonna show you our ingredients. So these are the ingredients we have. First of all, I have two cans of the hearts of palm and we're gonna use some cilantro, some lime, some sweet onion. Um, I'm not gonna put these avocado in it. I'm gonna use those actually for, we're gonna have some black bean tostadas with this on it. And then we're gonna have some tomatoes in there too. And we're just gonna see what this uh, turns out to be. I've made ceviche many times, so how hard can it be with this? At least I don't have to wait for it to cook, right? Like when you put raw fish in with the lime juice and cook it, um, I'm putting this already cooked hearts of palm in with lime juice so I don't have to wait. Okay, got this hearts of palm drained. Now, I really like hearts of palm. Oop. You know, that just went in there, no big deal. I really like hearts of palm. Um, and gosh, I'm not sure even how I'm gonna cut it. Let's see, if I cut it that way. Yeah, I can see where you would simulate that as fish. Let's try one. So if we cut it like that, we're gonna get lots of, well, it's not too small pieces. So we'll cut, we'll cut it like that. It'll be easier to put on our tostada if it's cut. The Blue Zone Cookbook is a cookbook where an author has identified five zones in the world where people live over a hundred. And this is one of the recipes for the Costa Rican um, village. Can't remember the name of the village off the top of my head. Get this onion in here. Oh, this is gonna be a lot. This is awesome. I like lots of cilantro. Don't think the recipe called for tomatoes but I had these and they're about to go, so they'll be perfect in this. Okay, tomatoes go in. Okay, let's try to make sure these are juicy. Lately, my limes have not been very juicy. that lime in there. All right, let's stir that up. Now, if I had raw fish in here, I'd want a lot more lime because that acid needs to really cook my fish, whether it's shrimp or, you know, some sort of nice mild white fish or crab, squid, calamari, whatever. But with this, we don't need to have a ton of lime, only to flavor. All right, let's let this sit for at least a half hour, and then we'll see if it needs anything. These are my two cans of beans, um, about two cans. These are fresh beans that I had in the freezer uh, that I made, dried beans. And I'm gonna season them with this um, Saison Tropical. I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon in there and uh, just to give them some flavor for my tostadas. All right, it's been sitting for well over an hour and it is time to make these amazing tostadas and we're gonna use my delicious new recipe here with the hearts of Paul. Okay, let's plate one of these bad boys up. So we've got our black beans you want to make them put them down and yeah, we'll put a little bit more on there and then we have our yummy hearts of palm ceviche we're gonna put on top well maybe I should have put the avocado before that oops we'll just get some avocado place that around and then I had this cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you have or none at all. I had this in my freezer. Um, it's just a Mexican queso 
I don't know, I can't even read it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. It's a good crumbly cheese. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely spectacular. All right, let's try this. It's quite big. I wanna get a bite, we'll make sure I get the hearts of palm, the avocado, and the bean all in there. Mm. Messy. Wow. Great flavor. Lots of good lime. You are gonna love this. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Remember to subscribe below and give me a thumbs up.